Brad, Great. we're here in Winnipeg. You're homeless. Tell me about it. Well, I mean, I came here, uh, me and my wife came here from BC, uh, Kamloops, BC. We hitchhiked here and had everything stolen. Uh, because of that, when we went and tried to get assistance, we were turned down. And for 16 years, we were told one excuse after another excuse not to help us. They were coming up with you know everything imaginable and then some. Um, but we kept meeting their the um, requirements. Right? So finally, after 16 years of fighting them, being on the news, uh, having a story put forth by, by the downtown biz here, um, having it put forth by the Winnipeg Free Press, they, uh, they said that they would start helping us, right? Um, so they did, and while we were on assistance for a year, um, we were renting a duplex, but we couldn't meet the we, we couldn't meet the rent, we couldn't meet the hydro and water, and still buy food, clean our clothes with the little funds that they were giving us. So uh, it turned out that we had to have a couple move in with us. And what you, people don't realize is that when you sign those those applications to get assistance, you really truly do need to read every single you know, word on it because if you don't, you'll wind up like me and my wife did and that is we even cut off for a year. And wait, 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 wait. Again, I I I, I just have to repeat it because I've heard this type of story too many times. It took you sixteen years to get the help. Yes. You got inside, you got support, but it wasn't really enough to live on. Right. So you took in another roommate to help make ends meet yeah but because government assistance has some crazy rules major crazy rules then they stopped your assistance but and that me, caused yeah. you to be homeless that's that's exactly what yeah i mean it caused me to have to be out here at age 51 having to beg to survive for me and my wife again which we had to do for 16 years yeah. and you have to understand what i mean beg i mean at, at when i was doing it for the 16 years i was you know, I, I was 49 years old and I would get down on my knees to beg from even children for sandwiches, half-eaten sandwiches, half-eaten donuts when they come out of a restaurant with their father or their mother. And that has to be very, very belittling and very uh, demoralizing as a human being having to do that. But, you know, there was something that kept me going and something that kept reminding me that, you know, yeah. at least I wasn't doing wrong things to provide yeah. for us. And it's cold. I mean, you sleep, where'd you sleep last night? Slept in a parkade over here underneath the Delta Hotel. You slept in a park? In a parkade. What's that? Like it's the stairwell of these car parkades where the cars park? Okay, got it, got it. A parking lot. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. And, um, but I mean, you know, it's freezing and it's getting cold. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, for 16 years, I was out here in 65 below weather, you know, having to beg till 2, 3 in the morning to try to get a home for us and oh not getting it. Oh my gosh. Wow. You know, but still seeing positive, still seeing sober and clean the whole time. Right. Never once using, never once drinking. Right. You know, that's even harder. Right. We, uh, me, myself, I have paranoid delusional schizophrenia, severe depression, anxiety, and a multiple personality disorder. My wife, her being anemic, you know, um, that's very hard, very hard to survive. But we do it. And I thank God that, you know, he's on our side and that we do it with him in us and beside us. And I ain't no religious person, but that's what I believe in. I don't force it upon you or anybody, but I will declare it to people. Um, what's your future like? Well, we got four more months of being homeless, and then after that, we uh, we will get reinstated back onto assistance and um, take so it. So I got to stop you again because I hate black and white thinking. You know what I mean? Because people are. You know, we're humans, we're complicated. So yeah. you're saying they cut you off for a year yeah. and you just have to wait out for that year, basically, basically causing your homeless. Yeah. And then in four months, that year is penalty is up and you can get support again. Yeah. That is insane. <laughs> oh my. Fucking insane. Yeah, no, I was going to use one of those words. Uh, but I'll use it. Yeah, those you know, words are perfect. It's fucking first. retarded and it's wrong, but it's the system. And if you don't work with it, then you're just going to screw you longer. Oh my God. If you had three wishes, what would they be? First wish would be to end homelessness in the city and every other city. Second wish is to make people 
realize that it doesn't matter if you're Aboriginal, it doesn't matter if you're black or white, that everybody is an individual and you have to be treat you have to treat that person like that. Yeah. And I guess the third thing would be for me and my wife to be back on assistance right now, instead of being homeless, having to beg. Well thank you very much for talking to me. Well thank you for listening to my story.